James, thank you for talking to me today. Hey, thanks for having me. So, um, describe the feeling when you found out that Insomniac uh, was going to be making a, a Spider-Man game. Oh man, we were so excited. Uh, like many of you folks out there, like we're just huge fans of Spider-Man. So, to find out that we would have a chance to create our own original Spider-Man universe and tell our own new Spider-Man story was just thrilling to all of us. Um, you mentioned before that the DNA of Insomniac and the DNA of Spider-Man is, is very compatible. Um, can you explain why that is? Sure, yeah, I mean, we had just come off of building kind of an open world traversal game called Sunset Overdrive, and Spider-Man's all about swinging around a huge Marvel's New York, so that made a lot of sense. And then if you think about Peter Parker, he's always building his own gadgets, and Insomniac's made gadgets in the Ratchet & Clank series, Resistance, Sunset Overdrive, so that was a perfect fit too, because we've made great gadgets over the years. Peter Parker makes awesome gadgets as Spider-Man. Um, now, one thing that's been very apparent with, with this game since it was announced is the Marvel logo. The official Marvel logo is up the top there. Is that, excuse my ignorance, but is that common on all games that are based on a Marvel property? You know, they just let us start using the Flipbook logo, you know, it has all the comics flipping, and that's the first time they've ever let anyone use it for a game. So it feels really good to kind of have worked so tightly with Marvel and for them to be really happy with the game and really proud of how it's come together. And we're really excited because we feel like it's very authentically Spider-Man, but also feels really fresh and new, but feels like a blockbuster Spider-Man experience, but one you can play at home on your PlayStation 4. Awesome. Um, but so previously the games that Insomniac has made have been all original, not based on other IP. So what's it been like working with such an established um, juggernaut of the entertainment world? Uh, you know, it's like with great power, there must also be great responsibility. Like we have 50 years of Spider-Man comics and stories and characters to like kind of think about and use. We also have like all these fans and all this pressure to live up to Spider-Man. So. On one hand, you know, it's very different, but on the other hand, it's very similar. It's kind of, we're making a game, it's got a great character, we have to tell a great story, we have to have great gameplay. Um, we have a lot of stuff, reference to use, and we have a lot of expectation to live up to. Now, uh, the Marvel movies over the last uh, 10 to 15 years have been incredible and become the biggest franchise ever. But a lot of Marvel games have been um, disappointing. How do you think this game will stand out from other recent Marvel games? You know, we just focused on like putting a ton of effort. We've been working on it for three and a half years to give you like the experience that Marvel fans have always deserved. Um, this game has all the support of Marvel and Marvel games and Insomniac to really give you the ultimate Spider-Man experience. And we think it's something that, you know, just a ton of love and effort and passion. You know our games have been great from Ratchet and Clank, Resistance, people have played it, they know us, they love us. And hopefully they realize that, you know, we did Spider-Man really well as well. Now, uh, even if you're not a Spider-Man fan, which would be crazy, but even if you're not, the exploration of New York in this game looks looks fantastic. What can you tell me about, about that? Yeah, so we have a huge Manhattan jungle gym for you to swing around at in as Spider-Man. And, you know, even if you've never been to New York, it's kind of the next best thing because it feels like going there. And I think even if you don't aren't a Spider-Man fan or you're not necessarily into the comics, this game is not just trying to tell a superhuman story, it's trying to tell a really relatable human story as well. So I think there's something there even for people that maybe don't think they're a huge Spider-Man fan. It's not based on anything else, you don't have to know anything, you can come in and try this one. Now, but for people who are Spider-Man fans, there's um, something, it's almost like the, the dream you have of flying when you watch a Spider-Man movie, there's something about just the basic sensation of web slinging around New York. Are you confident you've captured that sensation? Yeah, we've spent every day for over three and a half years working on making it as good as possible. It feels great. It was wonderful being at E3 in LA. A couple months ago, we had thousands of people playing a build of the game and watching them all just swing around with these big grins on their faces and tell us, you know, that was amazing. I just wish I could play more. Uh, it was really, really gratifying to everyone on the team. James, what's your favorite thing about playing this game? You know, like I really love the story and the characterizations of this game. I think we really nailed the story. I love the way we portrayed characters like MJ, Peter. Um, they're really awesome. People are going to love MJ when they meet her. Um, it, it's absolutely terrific. And then in terms of just the actual gameplay, whether it's web swinging around the city or kind of fighting guys, is like a masterful, improv or masterful acrobatic improviser where you're like leaping above them, knocking them up in the air, using your webs to use the environment, using your gadgets. It's just always fun. There's always crazy ways to play the game and do it with a lot of style. Awesome. James, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you.